everybody, what is going on? It is done by our snack bar here with some Empire Total War and the Civil War mod here. The blue and the gray mod, I guess I should say, to be more specific. And some of you may be wondering, why are you playing this right now? This is kind of like a little bit of a tease, because a lot of people actually love it when I play this game here. But the reason why I'm playing it right now is July 1st marks the beginning of the 150th anniversary of the Battle of Gettysburg. So it took place between uh, July 1st and July 3rd of 1863. So from July 1st to July 3rd, I'm going to be playing a game to kind of reenact of sorts every single day in some major event that took place throughout that day of battle. So I'm going to be starting off here as General Buford. I've got some cavalry, of course, and I'll kind of explain why. But for those of you who are unfamiliar with the Battle of Gettysburg, as far as the American Civil War goes, this was the bloodiest battle. So the Union, or the United States forces here, they ended up losing uh, 23, or they suffered 23,055 casualties, while the Confederates lost 23,231, or those were listed as casualties. So a significant number here, and this was absolutely huge because this battle turned the tide of the war in favor of the Union forces. There was a lot of problems, especially with uh, some of the generals here who were leading the Army of the Potomac, which is the name of the army that I'm fighting with, uh, which kind of made it so we really weren't doing too hot at the beginning of the war. So day one, what I'm going to be going ahead and reenacting right here is what General Buford did. Now, upon the initial engagement with the Confederate troops, once they discovered that they were heading into Gettysburg to actually requisition some shoes for the army, General Buford dismounted his cavalry and engaged uh, a small Confederate force, initially driving him back. But General Buford was kind of a way off here from the main uh, U.S. Army. So he had to wait for infantry reinforcements to come up to support him and eventually relieve him. Now, because the Confederate Army and Jeb Stuart, who was in charge of their cavalry at the time, was a ways off, uh, they didn't know that the Union forces were so close. So General Buford engaged the main body of the Confederate forces here. So, because they were so much closer than General Buford and the American infantry was, eventually they got pushed back through the town of Gettysburg. But how day one ends up was absolutely crucial, and what General Buford did was equally crucial, of course, to the outcome of the battle. So, anyway, that being said, we're about ready to engage the Confederates, so... Uh, kind of enough history for right now. So I'm going to dismount this cavalry here. And since we do have a, uh, just a couple points here where it looks like that the Confederate infantry is going to be able to go ahead and cross uh, you know, the, the water over here, I'm going to make sure I put them right along that. Maybe we can uh, get them into a bottleneck and, and make sure that uh, you know, we attack them here. I've got some artillery finally set up. So they're going to go ahead and get all set up here. I kind of wish I would have done this a little bit earlier. But I went with horse-drawn artillery just so that way they could be right up on line pretty early on. Infantry is coming up from behind, so it looks like that the cavalry is not going to really be able to, or not going to have to hold out really for that long. Now, this is a two versus two map, and... This one was actually created as part of the mod as day one of Gettysburg. So that's kind of cool. They have day two, but they don't really have day three. So I'm going to have to kind of do that myself here. But it looks like Robert E. Lee is over there on the right side. We may be able to engage him. If I could take out the general early on, that's always a good thing because that reduces the morale of all the troops. All right. Gosh, if only... They were still on their horses. We'd be able to chase him down right now and secure the kill. But artillery is just about set up. Oh, never mind. They're ready to go. All right. So it looks like the, the Confederate forces have some artillery set up as well. So Buford's cavalry here is going to have to sit and bear through some artillery fire while the infantry comes up. 
So I didn't want to go ahead and rush the infantry because uh, I'm actually going to go ahead and pull these guys back because they're not going to be able to last too long against that infantry or th from that artillery here. When the infantry finally does get there, it's not going to be pretty. So I guess I'm going to go ahead and break from the reenactment of sorts here. So I'm kind of uh, undecided about what I want to do. If I want to push through the town and hold a position in front of it, or if I want to hold back and make the Confederates try and run through the town. So um, I'm going to post those guys over there on the left side. I'm going to be splitting my forces, which is always a dangerous thing to do. Hopefully this all works out. All right, hurry back. I've got them to get back on the horses here, but they just go over there a lot slower. So I figure if I just make them run through and then I go ahead and make sure that they mount the horses, we'll be in good shape. All right, so the main body of infantry. Um, all right, here's, here's the decision. Do I push through the city and hold out in front of it? Or do I put a line together here behind the city make them try and come through all right I'm gonna stay behind the city I think this is gonna be a smarter call because they're gonna have to navigate around all the different buildings and it'll be tougher for them to get online to be able to engage me so that's what I'm gonna be going with here Buford's Cavalry finally getting back on the horses here and then I'm gonna go ahead and pull them back just kind of use them as a as my reserves here if I see anything crazy happening, I can go ahead and use them to be able to charge or... Confederate forces right here. They're all clumped together. So the artillery could be pretty effective. Okay. Um, time to pull them back now. So it looks like... The Confederates have split up into two bodies. All right. So it's a good thing that I split up too. But it looks like the main force is over here on the right side. So this is probably a good thing for me. That's right where Buford's cavalry was. Kind of wondering if that artillery wasn't there, it would have made it. All right. So you know what? I am going to go. I'm going to see if I can hit them before they can get online see if I can take advantage of the bottleneck here these guys I am gonna run with them so this is sometimes a smart thing to do sometimes it can be very dangerous because if you rush too much then your forces get really tired and they become less effective so uh, nope not the cavalry I want these guys right here all right they're gonna be running too. Artillery still weakening the Confederate infantry, but there we go. Let's see if we can take out that general here. I can't remember who is the other general for the Union forces. Oops, my bad. But yeah, so I have Robert E. Lee on, or uh, he's going to be, of course, leading the Confederate forces right here. But then, you know, there's a lot of different, um, or a lot of other, uh, you know, Confederate generals that were engaged with it too. So I didn't know who to put in there, so I just did a basic general. But looks like we finally have some fighting going here. Confederates are crossing, so they're going to have to get online here soon. I may have to take an initial volley of fire here from the Confederates. Or, god dang it, that artillery. That artillery is going to bother me. Okay. Now we're going to see how well these volunteer units will be able to do. Okay, so I'm finally getting some support here from the computer as well. That's really going to even the odds here. 
but I'm feeling pretty good about this. I probably should have them stretched out a little bit more, but there's really no time to be able to make those changes now. All right, Buford's cavalry is coming up behind the artillery. All right, pouring it into them. So I did make sure to balance out the forces as much as I could. I mean, when it comes down to numerical superiority, the way that this mod is set up is for, you know, the same unit, basically. Whoa, where did you guys come from? And who is that? Oh, that's that general. Oh, man. We can take him out. We're going to say that's General Yule. I don't know. So... Honestly, if the Confederates were to just charge me right now, I think they'd win this battle. Oh, these guys came up close. Got Confederate engineers. They're attacking the left flank of that line. So I was going to send that cavalry to go and try and take out the artillery battery, see if I can sneak behind their lines, but instead, I have to resort to desperation to make them charge that left flank. Now we've got this volunteer infantry over there on the side. All right, but it looks like those reinforcements here from the computer are going to push up and take them out, so I'm not going to worry too much about it. Probably would have been smarter for me to go ahead and make it equal on both sides. So instead of just volunteer infantry over here, I would have been better if I would have mixed in some, you know, some... Uh, some of like uh, the elite units here. I do have the Iron Brigade in, fighting for me in this. Gosh, Iron Brigade, those guys are awesome. Every regiment, every brigade, I have lots of respect for. So don't want to come come off as anything but grateful for the sacrifice and you know all the respect I have for the fighting everybody did, but. The Iron Brigade, the Irish Brigade, all these guys. And did some pretty amazing stuff. All right, so on, ooh, we got the general. All right, so this is severely going to weaken the Confederate forces here, and I'm wondering which side it was. So it was on this left side here where I've got the volunteer infantry. Uh, that's gonna be huge what I needed on the right side I don't know I feel a lot better about being able to hold this even though there's a lot more units that I'm going up against in a smaller area I've got infantry that's a lot better trick or that's better trained you got better accuracy everything like that here so all right is that yep that's my cavalry let's pull them back okay so flanks are secured on this line. The computer is charging at them. So that's going to go ahead and distract them while my forces are just going to keep pouring into it, into them here. Artillery barrages is going to soften them up too before they hit our lines. But what I'm hoping for is like this. You know, they'll start to charge, but then they'll get really close to the line and then pull away at the end. I've got a unit who's routing right now. But more infantry regiments are coming up every little bit. So I'm glad I got online first here and had something organized. It looks like the computer just throws regiments at other regiments without really planning anything. All right. So now we're going to charge. I think this is a good time. We'll outnumber them here. gonna be dirty but another thing I'm worried about here is hitting my own guys in the back you know as the computer goes forward here they open fire and their troops are in the way well I'm doing the Confederates a favor here all right so we're still engaged here in hand-to-hand -hand combat they're bringing in another regiment all right ooh they've got Four more right there coming. All right, these guys, let's go. All right, so it seems to be working. Every time that you see a flag blinking, that means that regiment 
is either on the verge or is routing from the battle. So, I think as they saw my line start to charge, that really got them freaked out. So, here we go with more. All right, it's just these, these three regiments against, gosh, I want to say almost 10 of ours. That includes the computer's regiments here too. So once these guys start to retreat, I'm gonna leave the rest of this here to the computer, at least trust that the computer's gonna get it done. All right, so I think we're gonna be good. So now I'm gonna take my forces here in just a little bit, and I'm gonna set them up over here. And we're gonna start working our way over to that volunteer infantry that's engaged in hand-to-hand -hand combat. So these guys, are gonna be, you know, in the middle of some fire here for a little bit. I'm gonna bring that cavalry section down here. It looks like all the routing, of the guys on the eastern part or the right side of the line, kind of affected everybody over here. It looks like they've really been able to reinforce. So the six volunteer units I had, no way it'd be able to hold off against these guys. So I've got two more units that are retreating right now. So yeah, it's absolutely imperative that we get that right side on over here to kind of help out. But the computer has brought in a number of, of regiments. So we're okay. Maybe they're brigades. I can't remember exactly what they are here, but looks like General Lee to be gauged right in the middle of it here, so here I go. Getting a chance at redemption here for earlier. I'm gonna be charging with my cavalry in a General Lee's unit. All right, gotta advance a little bit at a time here. Gotta be careful too, because the right, frank, uh, right flank on this line, well, I'm trusting the computer to hold that. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and cross here real quick. It's gonna mean a couple of my units are gonna be engaged in hand-to-hand -hand combat with that one rebel unit over there. But we gotta hurry. That line breaks and they have, well, I think that goes to battle here because my artillery will be taken. My cavalry is over there too. So I'll have to engage them and I might lose them. I don't know, they could end up swinging around here and you know even getting General Buford and then there goes the whole ball game but we've been able to kill Robert E. Lee I'm not gonna say that we killed him because we're gonna be using him in the other two days of battle here all right Calvary's gonna be joining in all right so they've been able to slow down a few of my units there won't be that many here. It won't last for that long either. You can see just from right here, the numbers, kind of overwhelming. I'm honestly surprised they're still engaged in battle here right now with me. Oh man, was that my artillery? Okay. These guys, I don't know, that one regiment. He could end up doing some real damage too. All right, so we're looking pretty good actually on this this side. Looks like I'm engaged with some volunteer infantry. We've got another unit retreating, so a total of four here. The rebel forces have lost a lot more. So in the grand scheme of things, I'm still doing all right. Could have a very decisive victory right here. Going, I'm surprised. It's a little under half strength, and they're retreating. Okay, it's all right. So these guys, uh, they're gonna go take out the artillery. I need to silence those guns in quickly, because I might not have cavalry to be able to storm at them here. Five units now. Better make it there in time. Um, 
send them. I'm gonna send over there in that direction. So yeah, not worried about over here now. It looks like they got close. We were about ready to break. But if it wasn't for the support of the computer, we would have lost that. So now it's really just a matter of cleaning up what I can to get the last few units here for the enemy. To disengage and retreat. Each side, by the way, me, the computer, the two rebel forces here, they all got a couple of units of artillery here. So I know I have four batteries that I have to get rid of. Oh, they're retreating. I think they just knew I was charging at them. Ooh, man. They've been able to hit a couple of my units right here as they charge. Okay. them. Now, it's not so much that I have to kill them all or anything like that. If I can get them to withdraw from the battery, then I'm a happy man. Alright. Gotta do this a little bit at a time. So, I do have them on the run here. While this uh, does not entirely reflect on what happened on the first day of battle, like I said, it was really the Union forces who had a uh, you know, kind of withdraw a little bit for battle because they were you know, getting overrun here by superior uh, you know numbers and forces here from the Confederacy you know we ended up taking the high ground at the end of day one able to hold that here so that's why General Buford played such a huge part because if he hadn't gone ahead and if his division hadn't held off against the Confederate infantry who knows what would have happened we wouldn't have gone ahead and held the high ground on day two. In the movie Gettysburg, which I had to watch, uh, it has uh, Sam Elliott, who's playing General Buford, you know, just talk about how he could see how they would be butchered valiantly, as they would charge valiantly at the enemy who held the high ground, and it would have ended up being bad. And I, I agree with that interpretation. I'm sure it would have been absolutely terrible. So, all right, we're gonna go for these last few artillery units up here. We've cleared the main field. All right, so we're just gonna charge. These guys are already exhausted. I'm gonna try to see what I can do with the cavalry. Looks like there's only two units left. Gosh, so much fighting took place right here. Okay, I think they're out of range of my artillery. Otherwise, I just might try to Everybody else is kind of a ways off. Ooh, they know we're coming up that hill. They're going to start retreating. Yep, there they go. So I'm going to switch over to them. See if we can get the same thing to happen here. Everybody. Everybody except General Buford is going to charge at him. And there they go. I think that's it. I think we have been able to drive everybody off the field. So, this was awesome. I really enjoyed this. I can't wait for tomorrow, which is day two of the Battle of Gettysburg. So, thanks for watching, you guys. I sure do appreciate it. More of this to come later on. Heroic victory. So, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, all that great jazz. Just check the description below. But you guys are awesome. Thanks again. And as always, I hope you guys have a good one.